Hey folks, my name's Adam McIntosh and in today's video I'm going to explain to you how to be creative every single day and it only takes two very simple steps. Uh, it took me a long time, probably too long, to come to the conclusion of these steps but ever since I applied them to my life they have helped me be wildly successful in being and staying creative every single day that I wanted to. So I hope this helps you out and without further ado let's get into the first step. This first step is just to have everything set up as practically as possible as you can in your apartment, your home, your office, wherever. Just have everything ready to go. Have the cover off your piano, have film in your camera, batteries in your notebook and your typewriter plugged in, I don't know, just whatever, whatever you're doing, have it ready to go. Because this will eliminate that thought process that we've all gone through at some point, right? You're thinking like, yeah, I really feel like painting today. And then you start to think, oh, yeah, well, that means I need to go buy a new canvas and I need to get the paints from upstairs and set those up and make sure I don't, you know, lay something down on the floor so I don't, and then you're already away from painting. And then all of a sudden you're not painting because this process of setting up is big enough to stop us from doing that. It's very natural, but we want to eliminate that. So just have everything ready to go. And that's it. That's step number one, super simple. Now, step number two, this is going to be a little contrary to what you've probably heard from many other places, but do what you want to do for one minute every day. Just one minute, super simple. This eliminates a couple of things. One of them being that we don't have time. It's one of the biggest excuses that we hear from, for many things that we want to do, that we enjoy, but we make this excuse that we don't have time. And sometimes that is true, but everybody has a minute. So there you go, that excuse eliminated. Secondly, something that happens a little bit more internally as an excuse for us is that we tend to look at things as a whole, right? So if you're going to do a painting, you sort of think that you have to complete the painting. And then now you're thinking, well, that's, if I start that, that's going to take me three hours, 16 hours, 60 hours, whatever. So you just don't start. You actually don't start on the idea that you're, you have this huge project ahead of you. So we want to eliminate that. Do it for one minute. The other important things that this will instill, most importantly, actually is a habit of creating every single day. So this will help a lot and it'll help a lot in your creative processes for everything. Secondly, what it does is it gets you started and it makes you feel like you completed something. I know it's only a minute, but quite often what happens we either tell ourselves or others tell us that we must achieve these time goals quite often, right? So you hear this all the time, like do this for what, one hour a day, you, you want to do this for 10 hours a week, whatever. But quite often we, do, we just don't have that time and, and certain days you're not as uh, motivated as others and you know, or you just literally don't have the time in your week. And what that does is it makes you feel like a failure. I know that it happened to me that I used to put these constraints on myself where I'd be like, well, I'm going to draw for an hour a day. And if that day I only felt like doing 15 minutes or 35 minutes, I felt bad. I was not reaching the goals that I set for myself. And yeah, it just, it wasn't making me feel good. And then maybe the next day I literally just didn't have the time at all and I had to skip it and that made me feel worse. So setting one minute is a very achievable time. Now, the best thing about the one minute task is that quite often we actually do have more than one minute. So worst case scenario is you complete the minute and you feel good about it. You did what you set out to do that day and you instilled the habit. You kept the habit of doing it every single day. Secondly, if or best case scenario, rather, you will keep going. You got started and that's usually the hardest thing. Quite often would, what would happen to me if I sat down at the piano and I say, I'm going to play just a minute and I start playing a minute. I kind of get into the rhythm of things and I get lost in it a little bit. Now I'm three minutes in and I could quit there. I did three times the amount that I set out to do. It made me feel great. Quite often what did happen is I went for 35 minutes, three and a half hours, you know, and then I'm like, oh, I haven't been to the bathroom or eaten or anything. I'm three and a half hours into this thing. I got lost in it. So that's an amazing thing to get to and hopefully really that's what starts us up. That drives us back to step number one, doing it for that one minute, having everything set up, allows you just to walk in it and start your one minute. So that's about it, super, super simple. I wanted to make this video and share that with you guys. I know it's helped me a lot over the years. I really do hope it helps you. Uh, if it helps you 
I'd love to hear your story or your comments down below or just something that you've figured out within the process too. Maybe you can let me know uh, the changes that you've made and the things that you're now completing given this method. If it really does help you, please share this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and all those things if you like. Otherwise, I'm just glad that you discovered this video and hopefully this does help you out. Until next time, take it easy, happy creating. Peace.